Hi, I'm Krista Dubill from 41 Action News. Many of you have kids maybe who got new devices for Christmas and there's something we want you to know about iPhones and iPads. Um, there is a way you can set restrictions. Those devices come default to access to everything. So I wanna walk you through how to do that if you're interested. You're gonna go into the settings icon and then you're gonna go into general. And once you're in general, if you scroll down just a little bit, there's this restrictions line. Those come off. We're gonna turn them on. Do not forget this password. I learned the hard way. You have to reboot the device back to factory settings if you forget it. I'm just gonna use 000 for an example today. I have to enter it twice. Now you have that restrictions passcode set. One of the things I do for younger kids especially is I can turn off Safari so they can't surf the internet and come across things there. You can turn off installing and deleting apps. I don't like my son being able to install or delete apps off of his device without me knowing. It will still allow it, but you have to have that passcode. Look at this, explicit. On all music and podcasts, we can turn off the ability to access explicit language. Movies. It comes default to any movie being able to be watched. You can set that to a certain restricted age. Same with TV shows. You can set it to G or PG. Books, apps, Siri. You can turn off Siri searches because Siri comes default with explicit language accessibility. So look through this, set that all up, and then know that when you exit out of that, anything you've restricted will need that password in order to happen on your kid's iPad or iPhone.